Morning guys, right, so it's, uh, what is it, Wednesday today? Yeah, Wednesday, 8 a.m., early start, early, you know, yeah. early, early start. I'm here with our good buddy, Dale Wilson, absolute legend of Fender Custom Shop. He's built with some of the best guitars we've ever had. You know, I'm not, not just saying that. You know, I know a lot of people where, uh, you know, that look at our YouTube and social media things and all that know that we absolutely love Dale's guitars. And Dale's gonna give us a little bit of an insight today of what, what kind of stuff that he does and give us a little tour around the, uh, the Fender Custom Shop. I know you're feeling a little bit sick today. Yeah, yeah the, under the weather there. The yeah. Namstrax is here already, <laughs> yep. so I yeah. think you're just using it as an excuse to duck out of the event. Oh tonight. man, I'm there. I'm there yeah. tonight for sure. Yeah. So, um, why don't you give us a tour? Let's go. Let's, Let's do go. it. So these are our apprentices. Cool. This is Hi. Nick. How are you doing? Uh, My name's John. Pleased to meet you. Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. John. Nick. Pleased Nick to meet you. Nick kind of takes care of everybody around Hi. here. Yeah. Um, Anybody that needs help, come yes. to Nick and he, he helps them out. Carlos mainly helps um, uh, Todd. Yeah. So that's probably one of Todd's guitars right yeah. there, huh? Or is that yeah. one of your guitars? Yeah, Scott Fields. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Uh, helping everyone out. Yeah. This is Levi. Okay. Uh, Levi uh, takes care of uh, our repair department. Cool. So he does a lot of, uh, he also helps a lot of the guys out, but mostly he does repairs for mm -hmm. us. And this is uh, Tony. Hi, yeah. Tony Corona. He's, he's, he's my yeah. apprentice now. Oh, cool. Excellent. So I got him uh, about a year ago. He's doing a great job. Does Teaching awesome. him the arts of the, yeah. uh, the killer relicking. I'm, I'm not, none not of the many, relicking. No, I, not I don't, too many I don't secrets. do the relicking with him, but uh, a lot of the a lot of the NOS stuff. He's an incredible buffer. Nice. Yeah. Is that a, a Rosewood and, and neck? actually, yeah, yeah that's for a yeah. Rosewood um, Telecaster. It's got a lot of work ahead of him. Absolutely, sure. a long road, a yeah. long road ahead. Okay, this is uh, basically sub-assembly, assembly, and then testing right here. Okay. And uh, all these guys are the best of the best from um, from throughout the, uh, the company. So. Are these employees involved. that will have been here for a long time yep. that have worked their way through, yeah. yeah. Nice. So this is uh, buff and polishing, basically, yeah. uh, self self-evident, but. Uh, uh, do relicking parts over there, relicking on this Everyone. side, and then all this is uh, just uh, neck and body buff and polishing. Kind of picked out a lot, so yeah. all this for, for you. Oh, lovely. Uh, that's pretty badass. Yeah. I'm pretty, pretty stoked on that one right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a beast, that one. That one looks pretty tasty underneath there, that one. Yeah. Nice and tight. Yeah. That was nice too. Yeah. That one. This too, I do, uh, I do pretty much as, as light as I possibly can. I, I kind of like a, a light, uh, a medium light. Uh, yeah. Wood. Yeah. I don't like it like too too I crazy think, light, but yeah. I, I, I they don't lose mind a bit it. of low end, don't they? I, 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 I think it does. Yeah. You know. So all this is uh, kind of the cream of what we have uh, in stock right now, as far as uh, lightweight. Where are we off to next, Al? We'll walk around the whole factory and yeah. then pop out, go through inner sand, and yeah. then pop out again, and then uh, come on back to the custom shop. Do it. The way I explain it is uh, custom shops kind of center, or yeah. uh, team built custom shops kind of center, and then uh, PL10, or I call PL10 our American made yeah. line, kind of uh, borders it. Yeah. Or right. the frame. Sure. So this is obvious, obviously the end of the deck department where they do a lot of the sanding, uh, final shaping, uh, and uh, fretting. So, okay. so fretting's in the center. They're doing the head shock uh, crewing and, uh, and the shaping in the back there. And then this is final sand. And these lovely women here, they, they do uh, a, lot of the, uh, a lot of the final touch-ups 
All the tedious stuff. Yeah, all the tedious stuff. Fret, she's doing the fret scraping. They also keep track of where stuff is in the process. And this this uh, this woman here, she's uh, incredible at uh, taking a ugly knot and turning it into uh, a beautiful bird's eye. Like on a bird's eye, yeah, yeah. if you have some kind of like a green uh, yeah. uh, sugar stain yeah, or whatever, yeah. she could take that and turn it into a bird's eye, happen. where it just it just looks wicked. It, yeah, it, it saves a really beautiful piece of wood yeah. that would normally yeah it just know. gets off the side. Yeah. yeah. The whole reason we do all this kind of stuff, it gives it, our customers some insight to what goes on behind the scenes. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, the extra work that we put into sourcing great product for our customers. Totally. A lot of the work after this is all done by hand, though. Okay. Yep. Are you doing their radius for that? What happens is the bodies come through, uh, they get built the next, and then there's a door this way, way that uh, they're fed into uh, paint. Paint is over here, and then from paint they go in and out of the inner sand to, yeah. to get the uh, required undercoats yeah. and then top coat. Nice. Go ahead. Hey man, how's it going? This is uh, inner sand for custom shop, along just this little area right here. So again, once they're finished in the mill, they come here. Uh, actually, they go to uh, paint department, get all the required undercoats, come here and get the inner sand. The difference is these guys are are, uh, are sanding really, really thin relic finish. You know what I mean? So they can't burn it because if they burn, then it has to get another coat on it. Yeah. And that just totally defeats the whole purpose of, of having a relic. Finish, yeah. Yeah. Well, this is oh, the yeah. dry room for uh, custom shop. Oh, wow. Cool, this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty bare right now, actually. I'm, I'm kind of hand to mouth, you know. I'm, I'm doing so many, try, trying to get so much out that I'm, yeah, yeah, always, uh, always just grabbing them and getting them out. Getting them, getting them done. Getting them done. Good man. Hello. Sorry to crash in. Is it okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. I for Oh, okay. So this is Josefina. Hi, Hi. pleased to she meet you. Over Hi, Abby. John. How are you doing? Hi. Thank Hi. You. So Hi. she does all the winding for uh, master belt and a lot for team belt, and then the the um, aftermarket, you know. Pickups. Yeah. Yeah. So how old is this machine? Is this a fairly newish machine? This was machine? Abby's machine. So yeah. she worked on yeah. it for I don't know how long, but yeah, for a long time. If there was anybody in the whole factory to take over for Abby, it was uh, it was definitely Josefina. She worked with Abby for quite a long time. Yeah. Even before you came back over, huh? Yeah. You worked with her on the line, yeah. and then yeah. yeah. Thank you, Josefina. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye, Angie. Mad scientist at work. Yeah. 
Legos. They don't allow me to touch Legos. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Why can it happen? That's bitching. First I've seen it actually. So what, what do you think it is then that's like in, in over the course of the last two years that's really done it why you think you've gone from like a year back order to this big massive I, do you think I the think evolution of like the relicing techniques and yeah things that you've most done? definitely yeah I really spent a lot, spent a lot of time perfecting I, I still am spending a lot of time trying to get my techniques better and better and better yeah. but that that we, we don't, a lot and we don't see the ones that um, a lot too we so. don't see the ones that go wrong as well you know uh, yeah it's funny uh, I've had a couple that have kind of gone wrong and uh, mm. my, my whole my whole uh, theory in the in, in the beginning was um, if it does go wrong, I can wash it and respray it. So yeah. there's really, there's really no fault. There's nothing. No. There's nothing. But I've ne I've never had one that bad to where I've had to wash it no. and redo it. No. So, no. so it's really worked out. But a lot of spending a lot of time on really tr trying to make it look um, old instead of relic. So how long would it take to get the body from from this to this? Uh, it can. It, it varies, honestly, from um, depending on what hours sort of, yeah, to a day. Yeah. You know what I mean. Sometimes I'll spend an awful lot of time. What is what is just the, 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 the longest part of it? Is it like the lacquer checking or the fine detailing? That uh, you're a doing lot of it? it's the wear. Yeah. Doing, doing the wear. Trying to make it look believable, isn't yeah, it? A lot of yeah. them are just you know that some, especially I'm, some. I'm color really sensitive ones. to yeah. that stuff. Kind of anal about it, actually. Yeah. Um, um, actually, check this out. This is the, Tony did this, and I've I've shown him him, and he's kind of taken it to another level. So you got you got the green, you got the the, the black, yeah. the, the you know all the different you know just yeah, all that great. all in there, yeah, yeah. that rust and stuff yeah. in there. This looks yeah. legit, and, yeah. and so does the you know this was something for Nam actually, and I just didn't make it. No, so kind nice. of a kind of a fire glowish type inspired thing, you know. What, why is it not ready then? Is it not? Um, it's ready now, but it's not, okay. it's not. On it wasn't a, ready in time, yeah. yeah, for the. So that could be unavailable then. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, this could be actually. <laughs> Are you still getting quite a few um, uh, requests for stuff like this, or is it mainly relic? Um, I've been getting quite a few um, NOS guitar, you know, requests. That's for sure. Mm. You know. What you got going on over here? A few uh, nice necks. Yeah, this is going to go on that. Uh, on that, um, oh, the that kind of a one. custom Paisley. double bound uh, Paisley, yeah. And then these are just for. Yeah, uh, I love, I love what you do with the coloring. Like, um, yeah, that's, you get like some of these fades and yeah. pull this out. Oh yeah, okay. all, this, all this stuff yeah, here. Yeah. That's like, I never yeah. like it where it's just like. Yeah, when it's just to there. Yeah, and then like that's yeah. that's like the neck on one of the and old guitars. And this finish also is such that I don't really you know say it too much but this finish will wear off yeah. easily with yeah. with the with the but that's what people want with the player. I, th I think I think yeah. so too yeah. it'll make it more yeah. theirs you know yeah. when I mean, you look down at that and that, that looks like the neck on them um, that the old strat in the studio yeah. i love trying to nail all guitars you know like i love trying to nail them so many cool ones i really out, do they? Yeah. yeah and yeah there really is so what are, the, what are some of kind of your favorite colors, like color over color type sort of things that you've been doing? I love a metallic over three tone. You yeah. know, I, I, I just really do any kind of a metallic, whether, yeah, it's, whether it's like a Lake Placid blue or a ice blue metallic or a Sherwood green, you know. Mm. But, is it, uh, are you doing more strats as well or is it good split it's between the two? split between the two, yeah. yeah I do, I do um, kind of both, you know, you got, Butterscotch or a no caster blonde, yeah. you know what I mean, and then three tones and two tones. You know, they're they're pretty much across the board, coming through, pretty, yeah. pretty even. Yeah, but I'd say uh, as far as my order base goes, that's what I have is mostly the the, the butterscotches, the no casters, and the um, yeah. you know the the. Um, There's more traditional stuff. Vintage correct uh, yeah. colors, you yeah. know. And what would be your favorite strap pickup then that you that you fit for like on a 60s type strap? Uh, I, I like fat, I love fat 60s actually, yeah. I really do. Yeah. You know, they yeah. sound they sound great to me, you yeah. know? And they really capture the, the sound of the guitar and that's yeah. what really what, you know. Kind on, of on a telly, 
Same, same I kind love, of thing. I always have and always will kind of love a, a twisted uh, Telly Mac. Twisted Telly Mac and Black yeah. Aster. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah. 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 It kind of just stomps all over everything else yeah. as far as I'm well, concerned. That neck pickup you know. especially just yeah. kills yeah. everything else, doesn't it? Cool, we're going to um, finish off now. I'm going to let Dale get back to work. He's got a big list of guitars to finish <laughs> off for me. And, uh, you know, I can't Thank you very much longer. for that, by the way. My yeah. pleasure. Yeah. No worries. Hope you enjoyed watching and we'll see you soon, guys. Cheers. Thank you.